Meeks back in Brisbane. How does it feel to be heading towards a quarterfinal? Yeah, I mean, it's it's obviously exciting and, and it's really nice to be back in the sunshine. I think I sunburnt from training again, um, which I love about Queensland. So, um, yeah, it's it's nice to be back. Did you catch what France did to Morocco? It was pretty impressive. This is probably your, definitely your toughest opponent yet. Obviously watched the game. I think a lot of people tuned into it, which was great to see, and, and they had a great crowd as well. Um, we obviously played them... Um, not too long before the World Cup and I think as well if you look at the group stages I think every game's been tough um, and now we're into the knockout stages so it's only going to get tougher um, but that's what we're here playing for. Um, you're now in the later stages of the tournament, the bodies are starting to naturally get a bit tired, fatigued etc. Does 24 hours extra in any way help as an athlete? Does it give you any advantage? When I say 24 hours over France, they're only getting to Brisbane today, obviously playing last night. You girls played Monday night. Does it help in any way? Yeah, I think we have a really big focus on recovery as it is. So I think um, we have a lot of support in that area. Um, so I know that our team will be very well um, recovered, whether we had that 20, extra 24 hours or not. Uh, just follow up on the previous question. Did you guys watch the game together or individually? Or, and, um, and how much do you reckon you can take out of the performance against them? And, you know, like yeah, I, we, we watched the game together. We have a little um, sort of hangout room that we all like to, to watch a lot of the games, actually. Um, uh, we love football, obviously, so whatever game's on, we'll watch it. Um, but, yeah, I think we can take things from, from when we played them last and from when we played them before that and before that. I think we take everything uh, as much as we can from, from every game that we play them and also similar opponents as well. When you say um, you take a lot out of the game, what did you take out of the game that you watched uh, last time? Obviously, we watch for you know areas that they're really good in, also maybe some weaknesses that, that we can pick up, um, how they've changed throughout um, the group stage or in the knockout games, um, and just, yeah, really look to, to see how we can apply our, our abilities. When you say the areas that they're really good at or their weaknesses, can you elaborate on that? What areas are they really good at and what areas um, do you think they target? I think they play a high-tempo game and, and um, look to go forward a lot. Um, as to our, our game plan, I think that's up to TG and um, <laughs> I don't coach the team, so I'll leave that stuff to him. This is kind of a two-pronged question. You got your first minutes in this World Cup on, on Monday night. Sam got her first minutes. Can you just tell us how special that was for yourself personally? And then into the second part of that question, how good do you think that was for Sam to just get some minutes under her legs, given the scrutiny, everything that was under her? And do you think we'll expect to see more of her on Saturday night? Yeah, um, it was obviously a special moment for myself to get onto the field, but um, at the same time, I think we've got 23 players that, that all deserve to be out there, um, and uh, the competitiveness within our team is really what makes our team um, so good. Um, and for Sam, of course, it's always great to see her, her out on the field. Um, I don't think she needs any confidence booster. She knows her abilities, and she always brings them when she comes out onto the field. Um, and obviously everyone, the whole team, and, and obviously Australia is keen for her to get some more minutes. If Sam starts, is that harsh on the players that have done such a good job to this point? I guess selection's obviously up to Tony, and um, everyone goes out and does their best at trainings, and, and players perform how they perform in the game because those are their capabilities, and, and they play that way um, in their own clubs as well. So everyone's deserved what they've got so far and, and will keep pushing no matter you know if they start or if they don't. I think we've got 23 quality players, and, um, yeah, I think anyone who's out on that field is... Is there because they deserve to be there? Not having the same starting for the first couple of games has really given Gary Fowler and Ford an opportunity to show Australia who, who may not have known as much about them how good they are. Um, can we see all three of them start together and, and how potent could, could that be? Again, I don't, I don't make those decisions, but that'd be a great combination. Um, but to, to Mary and um, Caitlin, they've done it before. Like they do it when Sam's on the field, they're still scoring goals. So. Um, for them, I think it's nothing new, and it's nothing new that we're witnessing as well within the team. We, we know how good Kate and Sam are, and they show it at their clubs respectively as well. Um, but, yeah, I think we have a great pool of players right now. I just want to ask about the confidence of the team. Like, 
you got to say took the hit against Nigeria, and it probably was an opportunity to almost reset in a way and um, have to respond as such. You did so against Canada, and then again a really impressive win against Denmark. But then you get a player like Sam back on Monday night. She's arguably one of the best in the world. Do you feel like all the pieces have just started? to come together at the right time of the tournament, like the fact that the team is performing so well, and then you get a player like her calibre back at the pointy end of the, the competition? Yeah, I think it, it obviously adds to the team, but we've been working hard for, I mean, I guess two years, and, and especially this last chunk of time together that we had before the World Cup, we've been working exceptionally hard. So um, for us, I think the game against Nigeria, we, we could have won that. We played really well. We had all the stats stats for us, and um, that was the same as it almost mirrored the Canada game. So for us, I think um, against Nigeria, we were disappointed that we didn't get the result, but we still had the performance there. So... Um, yeah, for for us to get Sam back again and keep moving forward, I think it's um, it's adds to the team, but also um, I think we've got that confidence from the group stages. There's been a lot of talk about what this tournament and the success of the field so far is going to have as a legacy for, for women's sport and football in this country. I was looking at the, the debut for the, the Raw was in front of a couple of hundred people at Valley Mall. Now we're going to play in front of 49,500, some hope you played in front of 75,000 a couple of times. What legacy can this tournament performance, what legacy can it leave, and how have you thought about that journey coming from what was happening 10 years ago and maybe they to, to now and these big crowds and the excitement of football in this country? Yeah, um, I guess it's it's really humbling to know that there's so many more people on, on the journey that we're on now. Um, but it goes to show that um, when you're doing things and you, and you think no one's watching, all those um, hours training, um, whether people see it or not, it really does pay off. And um, I think this World Cup has been already amazing for not just uh, the youth of Australia, but around the world and especially women and women that want to get into sport. Um, just to, to be able to see it... Um, and to know that even if you know you're doing it in your backyard, it can lead to to something a lot bigger. Three more questions. Speaking about you being from Queensland, you do have a football team, Hydra uh, coming out on Saturday night playing in the quarterfinals on your home soil at your home in Queensland. Is it is it a bit of a pinch yourself moment to be able to do that, and especially in front of a sold out crowd? Yeah, absolutely. I think. Um, I feel like when we when we go to tournaments overseas, we always do take our families with us, and whether that's um, in a photo or they actually travel, um, you know, you're always thinking about um, your family and how proud they were when you were, you know, this short running around and and screaming, you know, for you to shoot on goal or something like that. You always do take that with you to the major tournaments, and for it to be at home and to have everyone so close, and then obviously. Um, the extended support with all the fans as well is, yeah, definitely a pinch yourself moment. You've got the Prime Minister talking about a potential public holiday. If you guys win the thing, do you enjoy hearing stuff like that or is, does that add to the pressure that's already on to you? Um, no, I think that's something that um, a lot of people would think, yeah, kind of cool, I guess, maybe. People would say thanks, you know, for winning so we get an extra holiday and we'll say you're welcome. But um, no, I think that's just something that... Um, we kind of don't take too seriously until it happens, so we'll see how we go. Final question. Uh, we saw the, the team releasing vision of the song on the bus, and you can take us through those moments that we don't necessarily get to see those uh, private team moments, and, and particularly what that song means, the team song, um, and who's the, who's the biggest driver, who's the, who goes the craziest when, when that song's coming off? Um, we definitely have a dedicated lead singer in Lydia, and... Um, I think everyone on the bus plays their part in um, in sort of building up the suspense, I guess. Um, but it's one of those, yeah, I think it's just one of those enjoyable team moments that we have after a win and it's something that we look forward to and really do cherish after a win. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.